of membership that we refer to at the museum as our donor clubs. And it's really the highest level of membership that gives participants an opportunity to have a much more refined, curated, intimate experience um, both in the museum and beyond. And through these donor clubs and membership events, our members, our donors, join with myself and our curatorial team to have one-on-one um, -on -one experiences um, inside private collections, inside and uh, behind the scenes in exhibitions outside of ICA, inside artist studios themselves. What's wonderful about the, the donor clubs and the events and the mix of people there, of pen parents, of pen alumni, um, and of, of contemporary art aficionados is it's all of the people are there because they're interested in learning and they really have deep questions and they want to have these experiences that open up for them what is happening in contemporary art. We often meet up with our donor clubs at the art fairs whether that's in London um, for Freeze or in Miami for Art Basel Miami Beach alongside sort of the frenetic pace of Art Basel Miami Beach it was great to bring our donors nationally internationally and members of uh, ICA's donor clubs to um, a developing neighborhood and a very specific um, cultural center as well as a great wonderful reception inside an artist studio. One of the hallmark events of each season is an artist studio visit and that's an exciting uh, prospect of going directly into uh, the laboratory of the artist and hearing about their process but the opportunity to really to go behind the scenes into an artist studio is a very rare one and to have that led by a curator who has a long-standing relationship with the artist so that we can really draw out the artist and have them welcome the inquiries and comments from the guests is an extraordinary experience. Going to the artist studio was phenomenal and it gave me a chance to interact with the artist. When I'm looking at something on the wall, it spoke to me in a way that had I not gone, I wouldn't have seen the art, I wouldn't have appreciated the relevance of it, and it was art that I enjoyed. Just looking at it, it was beautiful, but it also spoke so much more to me talking to the curator, talking to Amy, and to the artist. It gave me a full picture that I never could have had otherwise. Mika Dangis and Becky Suss's studio here in Philadelphia was a wonderful experience. What was particularly special is this is six months after ICA gave Becky Suss, an extraordinary painter based out of Philadelphia, her first National Museum exhibition that was curated by our associate curator, Kate Craxton. So the one-to-one -one relationship there of literally this is an artist that ICA is helping develop and bringing to a wider audience and her welcoming our donors and our members into her studio to see the new work that's being developed. It was a great way to have a deeper appreciation for the artistic process and um, become more engaged with uh, the local community here in Philadelphia. Certainly when we talk directly to artists and when we can see the environment in which they're working and see works being developed before they're finalized, before they're presented to the public, it's really an extraordinary opportunity.